Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make gun physics in Scratch. So first you're going to want two sprites. So if you have like a gun done already, like and you're wondering how to do it. So if you have a gun or a player which uses a gun, let's just say this is your gun. I'll just make an example gun. Like a square. We know a square. I mean that's basically a gun. From a design standpoint. Right, so there's our gun, yeah. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move this to where the, we want the bullet to be. So we want the bullet to come out here, so we're going to put the centre as there. And then we're going to make, or if you already have what your bullet sprite is. So make a bullet sprite, if you don't already have one. And then you're going to make this fully centred. And you're going to go into this code, and you're going to go one flat clicked, control, when I start clone, and you're going to go show, and hide, you're going to get an if, and a forever loop, here, I'm going to get a repeat until here. I'm gonna get touching edge. I'm not going off whatever your screen boundary is there. And now repeat to touching edge. And oops, I'll change X by 10. Or maybe 15. If he's space best. Then we're going to create a clone. Oh wait. 0 0.1 seconds. And here we're gonna go to sprite one. And say so if you have a top-down game, um this is just you don't put the thought one down the um point in direction backdrop of stage. Sprite one direction. So now, if we try this, we have that. <laughs> so I need to go delete this clone here, and I need to make it go to back, or make the gun go to front. Now, if we try this, you can hold space and tap it. We have perfect gun physics in Scratch. So yeah, make sure you save, and then if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you want me to do next. Thanks for watching, and bye. <coughs>